Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. Recently we've been seeing a big wave of popular apps, websites and streaming services stop working, including one of the most popular pirate streaming apps. In this video I'll be talking about issues with Cinema HD. Let's go and take a look. If you're one of the hundreds of thousands of people that used Cinema HD to watch movies and TV shows for free, you may soon be looking for an alternative. That's because it appears to be very likely that Cinema HD has shut down completely. Whilst it may still be working for existing users, an announcement was shared in a Telegram group that confirmed Cinema HD is shutting down due to legal issues. The developer has stopped working on any updates and the application will probably stop working completely in a few days. Cinema HD's official Facebook support group is no longer accessible and this usually happens because the owner only shared it with a small group of people, changed who can see it or it's been deleted. It also seems that before the Cinema HD Facebook page disappeared, a post was made by the owner of the group that has been shared on Reddit that seems to confirm that thanks to a certain UK broadcaster, our group has been shut down. Access to resources is being turned off and disabled. Cinema is on the last update and there will be no more versions released. Besides being shut down, we can make some other assumptions from this post. It seems that the UK media giant Sky is behind the takedown. You could also speculate that the developer is already working on a replacement for Cinema HD as the post goes on to make mention of working on other projects and would see users around elsewhere. Takedowns of these types of pirate applications are nothing new and this has been going on for some time. We've seen the likes of Cuckoo TV, Mobdro, Showbox, Popcorn Time and many others disappear. On the other hand, as these apps go down, others appear in their place and I don't think that streaming from third-party applications is going to be going away anytime soon. With official streaming services and cable networks charging extortionate subscription plans and always increasing their fees, it's rarely the case that employment levels and income also rise at the same rate to keep up with these rising costs. Until this is levelled out and made more fair, supply and demand of these third-party or pirate applications will always remain. What are your thoughts on this most recent takedown? Get involved in the discussion by dropping your comments down below this video. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers and I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. Did you know that I also have a very useful website where you can find even more Firestick information, help and tutorials? You can find a huge app library that is simple to use and you can download almost any app from my website right onto your Fire Stick using the Downloader app. You'll also find video tutorials, help and advice on other streaming matters that you won't find from me on YouTube. So make sure you check out firetvsticks.com and bookmark it so you can always go back and check for the latest news. You can also sign up to my newsletter that will keep you up to date on all of my latest video releases, news and how-to articles delivered right to your inbox.